In the video today, I'm going to show you the best video editing software of 2021. If you're a content creator, a filmmaker, or even a YouTube video creator, then your most important asset is probably going to be time. I know mine is. I'm always looking for more time and I can never seem to find it. But with the software I'm going to show you today, everything you need for video creation is in one place. Some of these features are 3 million plus stock videos, images and music that you can use commercially in your videos. Now these are from companies such as Shutterstock and Storyblocks, so really big names in the industry. Also, you've got over 3,000 plus pre-made video templates, which you can just jump into, change a few things, and then have ready in less than 10 minutes to use. You've also got lots of seamless transitions, text transitions, and Premiere Pro style transitions, which you can use to seamlessly knit the videos together. Now, before I jump in and show you how to use this program and some of the really cool features that I've just mentioned, I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. So this is an invitation to click subscribe and then also click the notification bell. We are a community of passionate videographers and photographers here at Ben's Guide, and we're always looking for people of a similar mind. So if that's you, jump on in and subscribe to the channel. This video editing software is called InVideo and it's all spelled in one word, just in video like that. Now you can just jump into the description of this video and then click the link and it will take you directly to the home page right here. When you're on the home page, you'll see three different options at the top, pre-made templates, text to video and blank canvas. Pre-made templates gives you over 3000 plus templates that you can choose from, which are going to be similar to what you want, but then you can edit them if you like. And this can be done in less than 10 minutes and you can have these ready for things like social media or your website nice and quick. Then you've got text to video. So if you've got a blog post or you've got a lot of text which you want to turn into a video, you can then upload the text and easily turn it into a video using this option. Thirdly, you've got blank canvas. This is starting from scratch. And if you're someone that likes complete control, use this option so you can do everything that you want in the video editing process. So first off, I'm going to start with pre-made templates. This is a good place to start and an option which I think a lot of people interested in this program will actually use. So if we just scroll down the page here, you can see a whole list of pre-made template videos already. Now these are on different headings here, like just added or hand-picked templates. And these go on and continue further and further down the page. But if you want to actually have a little look at one of these before clicking on it, you can just simply hover over and it'll give you a little preview of what to expect from the video. Now, rather than going through all of these headings here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come to the search bar at the top, type in photography so that I get a lot of different pre-made templates in this subject. Then I'm just going to choose one of these options here. That one looks pretty cool preview it to see if I like it and I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that and then it's going to give us the option here. What we can do is we can actually use this template by clicking here. But there's a really cool feature that you may have noticed. It's got the aspect ratio that you can choose. So you can go wide, which is perfect for a YouTube video. You can go square, which is going to be great for something like Facebook or vertical for TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat and different social media sites like that. Choose whichever one you want and then click use this template. This is the editing part of InVideo. So you can see that you've got your video clip here and you can just press play. And that's going to show you the clip that you have available. Now you'll notice down here is the timeline. Each one of these blocks is a video block. And to choose a certain block, all you gotta do is click on the timeline and drag it over the block. Now I've got my second clip highlighted, press play, and then I can see this one in action. Now if you wanna look at each block together, 
So you play the whole sequence, you've got this option, click on that and it'll play the whole lot. Now InVideo is a free platform and it's also a paid platform. So it gives you the choices that you want in different packages. Now a free platform will give you access to quite a lot of stuff, but if you're really serious about video content creation and you're doing this full time, then you can get for $10 the complete package where you can use everything on this site. And InVideo have been kind enough to actually give me a 25% link and this discount can be applied to your sign up this is going to be available to everyone which is watching the video you've just got to jump into the description and the option for 25 percent off will be right there now underneath the video you have this here which is your music option you can of course edit this by clicking on edit you can delete this and replace it with another bit of music duplicate loop trim it to make it smaller or just play now, if we want to delete this, click delete. And then on the left hand side, we have a whole awesome load of features, which I'm just going to go through quickly now. And these are some of the features which make, in my opinion, InVideo the best video editing software in 2021. Now, first up, we're going to have a look at music, which is here. And you can see that you've got a whole list of different music genres and options available to you right now. So I'm just going to click into hip hop and I'm going to grab another track. Let's, let's go for swag it now. Press play. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Now I'm going to press the plus sign and this is going to be simply added down here to your track. Now press stop on this so it doesn't carry on playing. And now this is gonna be the track for your video. You've got so many different um, songs and music you can choose from in this list. Now if we go up to the top and click on video, this is where in video in my opinion is so good. It's got millions of stock footage which you can choose from, from some of the best websites out there. And I mean the best, like Shutterstock and also Storyblocks. Now you can scroll down these to choose whichever video you want, but the quicker and more effective way to do this is just to click on what you want to actually go for, the specific subject. So I'm just gonna put uh, photography, press enter, and now it's only gonna give me photography videos, which is awesome. Now, if I decided I didn't like this clip, I could actually use one of these clips to replace it with. So let's just drag any clip now just to show you how this works. So you can have a little preview of these clips by just hovering over the top. And it's gonna show you a little preview of exactly what the clips look like. When you're happy with the clip, just click and hold and drag in, and then you're gonna get the option, sorry, to replace or add as a layer. Now I'm going to talk about that in a short while, but we're just going to replace it for now. Now before it replaces the video, you have the option to really set the duration of how long you want it to play. You can do that by just coming down here and changing it. Now I just want it to play here for about four seconds maybe. So I'm just going to change my time here to 04. And there we go, we've got four seconds. Now when you've got your video clip how you want it, all you need to do is press done and then this is gonna load in to your video here. Now it just happens to be, in this case, I don't actually want to switch the video around, I just wanted to show you how stock footage works and how you can use it. So I'm gonna take a few steps back by pressing Control Z and then I'm back with this piece of footage here. If we go back to the left hand side, you can click on images, that's the next option, you've got absolutely loads of images to choose from, stock images, which you can just do the same with the video. You can click and drag it across into there and then it will replace the clip that you currently have. Under music, you've got text. You've got loads of different text effects and features and these have all got transition options which you can apply. Now, I can just drag one of these here. So I'm just gonna click on, let's see. 
good vibes I like the look of that now when i click on good vibes it's just going to be added straight in to my video here now you can see i can drag and hold this and move it around nice and easily now you might be wondering okay that's great but how do i actually edit the text well if you click on it whatever part you click on in the video you'll see that there's an edit option which pops up on the right hand side so i'll click on my text and then i have edit option with all these options here that i can do to change the text with so first up i'm going to change the text i'm just going to put only good vibes and then now you can see that's changed there if i go on style i can change the text effect which i actually quite like so i'm going to leave it the same but if you want to change it you've got a whole list of text effects here loads and loads and loads to choose from that you can just click on one of them and it will change it you've also got the if you want it to be bold or regular now i happen to quite like it being bold so i'm going to keep that option there and then you have font size so if you want it a bit bigger i can just go 120 press enter and it's going to go bigger then all i need to do is drag my box to the side and then it will keep it in the same orientation it was before you've then got further things you can edit like aligning text the style if you want it to be bold italic and also the line height but going off style option your next option is color you can change the color of the text by clicking the box and then going into the color options down here i'm going to choose that funky purple which is running through the theme of this video and change it to that you can also change the box color now you can't see the box because the opacity is on zero but if i drag that up you can see this box that suddenly appears but i like it with the opacity on zero so i'm going to leave that down like that you've then got drop shadow so you can make the text stand out more and animation which is a really awesome feature so if we click down you can choose what kind of animation you want the text to come in with and out with so you can click this drop down here scroll down with the scroll and then you can just choose one of these options i'm going to go for bounce in click that change the duration of the animation to be two seconds click off and then let's press play to see how that's going to look now you can see that you've got that nice text effect which is taking two seconds to come in and it's applied to this text right here clicking back on the text you've also got text box animation and you can change project colors as well now you might notice up here something very small it should be a little bit bigger which i'll make it bigger but this is a really awesome option which you have inside in video you can actually set your brand logo and brand presets to show up in your videos quickly i'm just going to pop along and show you how this works if you go back to the home page you've got this option here if you go up to your name or your account and then click on brand presets and then you can actually just choose to add in your logo change the typeface or the font that you want for it there make sure you put in your brand name at the top and then you can actually have all your brand colors right here which is really handy because that means that they are loaded in and they can be used again but that you can also have the the hash code or the hex code right here which you can use if you want to know your brand colors you can just copy this and use it in another program you then have your handles here your social media handles which you can add in so they're always used in the video and then when that's done and you've created that you can then just make sure you connect your social media accounts so that when you create a video these will show up at certain points where you want them to now if i just jump back into this you can see that because i've created my logo it's going to show up in the video here as well so that's always going to show up which is really handy and it will also show up at the end which i'll show you in a short while so now i'm happy with the first clip i can then just jump over grab the timeline down here and then just highlight the second one so now you can see that you're able to click on areas in your video and then just edit them so i'm going to change this text to in fact i quite like it be bold but then let's just change the style because i don't want to use that style click the drop down and then you've got all these text choices here let's go for this crazy text be bold quite like that
Now you can click on this right here as well. And then this is actually the outline. You can change the colors of this if you want to, or the animation of this box. You've really got control over everything as you can see. Now I'm gonna leave this the same. I can make this a bit bigger. Now, if you do happen to have a small logo like this, which is not big enough, you can actually just load in a bigger logo in the brand preset section, and then it will show up at the exact size. It's just mine's a little bit small. I need to change that. Okay, let's just play this, see what this clip looks like. Very nice. Now, something I want to show you is these little blocks here between the video blocks. Now what these are, is if I click on it, these are the transitions, which are awesome. You've got all these different transitions, which you can use and then seamlessly blend these clips together with these transitions. So if I just decide for this one, I'm gonna click that, and then I'm gonna drag my timeline back to the start and click on the play all scene option. You'll now be able to see this transition here joins the two videos together and you've got loads of different transitions that you can choose from which is really cool finally i'm on the last clip here now you can see using this brand presets my logo is loaded into the end bit right here i can just make this a bit bigger if i want and then put it in the middle and then if your social media accounts are connected they will be added to these right here so your social medias um, links will be here which can be clicked on and also the name of your social media accounts now if you decide at any point that you know you've got some different photos or different video clips on your computer that actually you want to add to this and you don't want to use any stock footage then you've got the upload option right here click on that and this is where you can upload media from your computer so if I just wanted to upload a picture or a video, I could do that. And then you can just click on one of these. Let's just say this picture, press open, and then this will be uploaded into the upload section. You can then literally just do the exactly same as what you've done with the video and images before. Just hold, drag it in, and it will be added right there. You can replace it, or you can add it as a layer. Now you've got even more options on the left hand side here. If I just click the drop down, you can see more. You've got all of these options. You've got different shapes, which you can add to create different styles to your video if you want. You can just click on that and then it's added. And then of course on the edit tab, you can change the colors, animation, and things like that. You've also got masks, which means that you can mask out certain areas. Now this is really powerful stuff because this is the kind of thing that you can do in Premiere Pro. So this is not a basic video editor. You've got everything in this video editor that you will need for content creation. You can create things like collages, which means that you can create picture collages in your videos if you want to go for things like a portfolio or something cool like that. You've also got social posts, which means that you can use these social post options to actually upload social posts and make it a lot easier for you that way. Now, something I haven't mentioned yet is layers. This is a really powerful option inside in video where you click something here. If I just click the video, you've got two options. You've got edit so you can edit the area that you've clicked and you've also got layers click on layers and this means that you can move stuff around in your layers to put things at the front or back if you want to move them around which is really cool you can just click and drag up and down and then this is going to go forward and backwards depending on what scene you're using this will then be exported out and then when this is finished rendering you can just click download 1080p and that will be downloaded onto your computer now, one of the really awesome features inside in video is a virtual assistant. Now, this is like some AI technology which helps with your video editing and is going to be really good for people which are beginners and maybe want some pointers if they've made errors, but they don't know it. So to show you this, I'm quickly just going to jump in and grab uh, this one here. Click use this template. 
Now I've got this template option here. You've got this tool here, which is IVA, which is like a virtual assistant. And what it does is it analyzes the scene to see if there's anything wrong and then it fixes it for you, or at least it makes the suggestion and then it can fix it for you. So let's just check this out. and Hopefully there's something wrong so I can show you actually what works now with it. So clicking that, you can see it says analyzing scene. It's happening, it's totally happening, okay. Looking at it from different angles and, okay, cool. So it says text box center offset. And sorry, align the text box with the central grid. Brilliant, so it's actually picked up that the text box here is not in the center. So you can just click resolve and then it does it for you. And then you can do this for each one of your different features, sorry, each one of your different clips here. And then if there's something wrong, it's going to tell you exactly what's wrong and how to fix it. Okay, so we can see that this is a pixel perfect scene, which means there's nothing wrong with this scene and it's identified that it's good to go. So this is just a really awesome feature, which is something which is not used in any other software out there, which I found and another reason why in video is so good. Now, if you're the kind of person which actually wants something a bit more Premiere Pro style with a timeline, you do also have the option of an advanced timeline. I just thought I'd point this out. You can click on and then you've got the different layers and blocks here and you can move these around with a little bit um, more control, which is obviously something for the more advanced video editors that are looking for that extra control with. Now, if you want to find out more about in video and what I mean by that if you want to learn how to use it you have tutorials which they have created just go up to the tutorial section on the top and then you can go into these different tutorials here and these will tell you exactly how to do different things in in video which are really nice quick and simple to do Remember, you've got other options as well. You've got text to video, which means that if you're someone that creates things like blogs and then you want to turn them into short videos, you can do that by clicking on these different themes here. And then when you click on these, you can just add in your text and then put the video in around it to create that story. And that's a really nice feature, which is not something you find in other software. Finally, you've got a blank canvas. Now this is if you're someone that wants to start from scratch and create your own video. You can do that nice and simply. When you've chose your aspect ratio, click on make video, and then you can just go in and start from scratch with the whole editing process. This is particularly good when you wanna use a lot of your own clips or there's something which you want to be really nice and bespoke and that's not actually shown up in the pre-made templates so that you have full control to do it right here. One thing I do wanna say about InVideo, not just as software, but also as a company, is their customer service is absolutely spot on. There's nothing more annoying than finding a product which is really good, but then the customer service kind of lets it down. It's where you're trying to get in touch with someone and no one's ever available, and then you can have an issue or a problem which never gets fixed. It's not the case with InVideo. They're pretty much available 24 seven. You've got any problems, it takes minutes to get an answer from them through their online chat. They've just been brilliant with me if anything's ever needed to be resolved or have ever had any questions, they've been right there to help me out. I wanted to point that out because sometimes customer service is an issue which a lot of people are looking for and want to know that they have good customer service before they go for a program or for their software. Now, if you've stayed with me to this point in the video, I wanna say a big thank you because this is a longer video than I do uh, compared to the usual videos. Now, I will say, if you checked these features out, you will, at this point, know how good this video software is. Now, remember, you can use a free account or you can use a paid account if you're serious about content creation and getting everything you want from this site. If that's the case, you can get it $10, but get it even cheaper at 25% off when you click the link in the description. I wanna thank you guys for watching the video today. If there's any help you need with this software, just jump into the comments below, leave me a comment and I'll be happy to help. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.